Hey guys, in this video, I break down another EMS acronym you might have heard once or twice in EMT class, and that's DCAP BTLS. DCAP BTLS is a trauma specific acronym to help you remember what you're looking for during your trauma exams. Let's jump right onto the computer and see exactly what the acronym is helping you to find. All right, guys, now that we're on the computer, we are going to break down exactly what DCAP BTLS stands for. Remember, we're looking at DCAP BTLS for your trauma assessment. These are things that you are looking for actively while you're doing your trauma assessment. First thing that you want to be on the lookout for is a deformity. Okay, a deformity is anything that looks like it shouldn't be there, like in that particular space. So maybe an angulated fracture of your uh, of your arm, right? Your arm is bent the opposite direction or your finger, instead of being bent downwards at 90 degrees, it's bent upwards at 90 degrees. Or maybe your leg uh, has a giant bulge out of your hip area, okay? These are deformities. There, there are bone structures that are not supposed to be there, okay? The next thing that we're wanting to look for uh, are contusions, okay? And contusions are just bruises, okay? So we all know what a bruise is. We just are looking for that, that uh, you know, blood vessel breakage right under the skin where the blood collects and creates a bruise okay um the next thing that we want to look at are abrasions okay now abrasions think think like the skin knee right when you were a kid you fell off your bike you got a skin knee okay there was a little bit of blood it wasn't a lot but it wasn't like a cut right you just scraped your knee you scraped a couple layers of skin off and everything was okay that is an abrasion. Think um, a, a bigger example would be like road rash, okay? Um, when you're looking at like motorcycle accident uh, victims, okay? The next thing is a puncture, okay? So a puncture or a penetration, okay? And a puncture and a penetration, think like stab wounds, okay? Um, or maybe GSWs, gunshot wounds, okay? These are different areas where something forcefully enters the body uh, in a puncture type manner. So maybe I have a, a piece of steel rebar and it goes through my hand, that would be a puncture. Uh, you know, a knife wound where someone stabs you with a knife and it enters your skin, that would be a, a puncture wound. A penetrating trauma might be like a gun, a gunshot wound, where you know you have the bullet penetrating your skin and going through all of your muscle and organ tissue. Okay, these are punctures and penetrations. Next are burns. Okay, B is for burns, and remember you have first, second, and third degree burns that you guys need to be aware of and exactly what they look like so you can sit there and be like yep that's a burn okay it looks like second degree okay i can move on okay next thing would be tenderness okay and you ask mike how the heck am i supposed to see tenderness well as you're palpating these areas you're when you're specifically looking for tenderness you're looking for a patient reaction you're looking for maybe a wince or them to pull away a little bit or them to verbally say like ow dude that hurts right you're looking for that tenderness that pain uh associated around an injury site okay or an area next you have a laceration okay now these are your cuts okay these aren't your scrapes these are your cuts okay you you are in working in the shop and you're working with a box cutter and it slices your finger open uh, that is a laceration or you fall down and you cut yourself on you know the sidewalk that would be 
a laceration, okay? Glass breaking and slicing your hand. Those types of cuts, whether they be smooth or jagged edged, are called lacerations. And lastly is swelling, okay? When we're looking for swelling, we're looking for that fluid buildup around an injury site, right? We, we see that things are not the size that they should be. They're a little bit bigger because fluid has traveled there to help with the injury. So guys, that's DCAP BTLS. To be honest, this is one of my least favorite EMS acronyms, and here's why. Typically, I see students practicing their trauma assessments, and while touching each body part, they announce, I'm palpating the arm, or whatever body part, looking for DCAP BTLS. The students consistently assess for the acronym and not the specific findings outlined within the acronym. So if you're just starting out, don't fall into this trap. Announce the specific trauma abnormalities you're searching for. This will ensure that when you're assessing your first real trauma patient in the field, you don't overlook something significant because it wasn't DCAP BTLS. Well guys, that's it for today's video. Stay safe out there and I will see you in the next video.